Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will talk about universal motors. This type of motors are popular in many home appliances and power tools. The reason is that they are very cheap to produce. They are uh, lightweight, compact, and they can deliver uh, medium to high power. They are fabricated between 50 and 1000 watts normally and they also have a high torque. So that makes them ideal for equipment such as blenders, sanders, uh, power tools, drills, etc. And uh, this type of motor, here you can see the construction, they have no permanent magnets the magnetic fields are created by the coils of the stator and the rotor. This type of motor also has a commutator and brushes and that is one of their disadvantages because they wear with time. However, that is compensated because they are very cheap. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The coils of the stator and the rotor are connected in series via the commutator and the interaction of the magnetic fields of the stator and the rotor is what produces the torque that makes the rotor move. Here we can see these are the connection wires. The current comes here, goes through the switch, and then enters one of the coils of the stator, and then goes to the second coil of the stator. From then, it goes to one of the brushes, and the brush makes contact with the commutator then the current goes into the coils of the rotor and then goes to the second brush and the circuit is completed. So both coils are connected in series. What is very interesting about the universal motor is that they can work with both AC and DC current. Hence the name universal motor. So let's make the demonstration using this motor, which is from a sewing machine, which is one of the main applications of universal motors. Millions of this type of motors for sewing machines have been produced. Let's try first with alternating current. I'm going to connect. It works with 120 volts. And this is the pedal switch. There you have it. Uh, one feature of these motors is that they, uh, if they do not have a load, the motor accelerates and it can, uh, it can run at dangerous speeds and the motor will be damaged. So without a load, you must only run the motor for a few seconds. Now I will use DC current. I will use my lab power supply. Let me connect the motor and turn on the power supply. Oops, there it is. Let me increase the voltage. 
and the motor runs faster. So there it is, the motor can run with AC and also DC current. You may be wondering if universal motors can also work as generators in the way that other motors also work. So let's connect the multimeter and turn the rotor to see if we obtain some voltage. And yes, we can see a reading in the multimeter, but it's very, very low. These are uh, millivolts. So, very, very low voltage. Even when we could see a reading in the multimeter, the answer is no, universal motors cannot work as generators. The reading that we see on the multimeter is because the, there is a residual magnetism in the stator core. When the coils of the stator are energized, a magnetic field is formed in the stator and that makes the iron to, uh, to have a very small magnetism. It behaves like a a tiny magnet and that is the reason that when we rotate the rotor a very small voltage and also very small current is induced but this uh, this voltage and current will not produce any usable power so no you cannot use universal motors as generators Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video on Universal Motors. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.